Uh, next we will move to our first session which is uh, labeled as a cross-border mobility and migration in the Baltic region and uh, obviously we have here three present presenters from the three Baltic countries. And uh, first I would like to introduce uh, Professor Zaiga Krishane. Professor Krishane uh, is also the Dean of the Faculty of uh, Geography and Earth Sciences at University of Latvia. She has an extensive research experience at both national and EU level in the field of migration studies, urban and population geography. And she is a, a corresponding member of Latvian Academy of Science. And Professor Krishana will give us an overview about mobility trends in uh, Latvia. So, please, uh, uh, Professor Krishana, screen is yours. Uh, dear audience, uh, good morning. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to be here at the Nordic Baltic Conference. And uh, I would like to thank the organizers and colleagues for uh, the invitation and kind uh, introduction. And uh, already uh, Raoul mentioned it. I am a professor at the Faculty of Geography and Earth Science at the University of Latvia. And today I will briefly give uh, the, an insight and the overview from Latvia, showing the main uh, mobility trends. Could we put the slides? And uh, uh, actually, uh, I would like to stress the stable uh, interest from uh, uh, stable interest and importance both for academic society and policy making aspect about the demographic and migration related issues. We are aware that our society is aging society and particularly peripheral parts of the country are depopulating uh, territories. Therefore, I'm also representing some results from the national research program uh, project uh, where we are responsible for studies uh, related to demographic and migration challenges uh, Latvia is facing. And by exploring actual situation in the regions also offer recommendations and develop evidence-based policy making practices. When we look on the slide, yes. Thank you. when we look on the slide, uh, we see a long-term uh, population changes in Latvia in period from uh, eight, uh, uh, 80s and uh, up to current situation, and. As we all know uh, that the development of migration history in the Baltic states has uh, taken several turns. For example, uh, uh, we see this withdrawal of Soviet army in the beginning of the uh, 90s. And uh, since 2004, Baltic states has become a countries of immigration with rather a steady out-migration flow, flows as people used that the possibility to move ab abroad and experience a free movement within the uh, European uh, Union. Uh, the story of aging population and high risks of the population are displayed uh, in this, on this map uh, in the migration intensity and population dynamics in the last 20 years. We see concentration of population in the central part of the country and the attraction of migrants to the surroundings of the capital uh, city of Riga. Uh, we can speak about suburbanization, uh, rapid suburbanization processes. In terms of long-term immigration trends, the major outcome from Latvia occurring during the peri period of insecurity and instability and the period of sharp economic decline after 2008. 
Uh, the main destination countries from Latvian immigrants are the United Kingdom, Germany, Ireland, Sweden, and Norway. Also, the latest statistical data pinpoints a crucial increase registered immigrants from Latvia in Norway and Germany. However, the number of Latvian nationals has decreased in Ireland. The last years have uh, uh, brought reasonable stability in terms of emigration rates from Latvia, as well as stable return migration flow. Uh, around 40% of all immigrants to Latvia in the past years were return migrants, as is demonstrating a continuous increase of circularity uh, patterns. Uh, uh, the age structure of international immigrants and L Latvian immigrants in both cases show that young age groups are the most mobile. Unfortunate for Latvia, as we are losing our most valuable capital, human capital. Nevertheless, looking at the bright side, we see that return migration and uh, international student mobility are taking place in Latvia. When we look at total number of local students in Latvia, in uh, these decades, numbers are decreasing. But to some extent, it can be substituted by attraction of international students. Geographically, we can identify three main groups of international students. Students from Europe, students from Southeast Asia, and students from Soviet former Soviet republics. If we're speaking about Nordic countries, Norway and Sweden are among top 10 countries. Besides international students, also return migration to Latvia is stable. Approximately one half of immigrants are returnees. And nowadays, possibly insecurities worldwide and such events as COVID-19 pandemics can often work in favor of return. Uh, the topicality of return migration discourse in academia and society in Latvia have resulted as policy initiative. There is a pilot project return remigration coordinator in Latvia, enhancing uh, regional return migration. The project is coordinated by Ministry of Environmental Protection and Regional Development. The practical work of five regional return migration coordinators is proactive communication with potential migrants. As uh, you can see as well, the main uh, topics what uh, when, when usually return, potential return migrants ask it. Uh, this is services and available amenities for families, such as education, uh, learning assistance, uh, Latvian language course, housing, information of available housing funds uh, with uh, within private and public sectors, as well employment and business startup in Latvia. And uh, this uh, uh, the most relevant topics that successfully encourage return uh, migration uh, to Latvia. And as well, there are some questions regarding the integration uh, issues uh, about healthcare, uh, benefits, uh, tax uh, policy and pensions uh, systems, as well different kind of uh, return measures. For example, a return grant for uh, businesses and so on. Uh, in summary, I would like to say that, that, that taking into account uh, the population trends in Latvia, it is crucial to attract human capital to Latvia. 
there is an increasing pattern of circularity, particularly of young people who both work and study in other countries. There are strategic national level initiatives for return migrant attractions. It is also essential to exchange positive attitudes towards migrants and return migrants by sharing good experiences. Thank you very much for your attention. I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, Professor Christiane. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a question from the audience yet, but I have uh, uh, two small questions. Uh, if we look at your uh, statistics, uh, it seems to me that the negative uh, migration balance in Latvia is shrinking. So what is your prognosis? When Latvia will become uh, from uh, uh, sending country to uh, destination country, when you expect to have uh, migration turnover? Uh, thank you very much for your uh, question. It's actually very uh, a good uh, question and it's not so easy to answer. But we hope that our level of net migration uh, will stabilize and maybe in 10 years uh, will be not zero, uh, below zero anymore, become positive and at least will be stabilized during the life. But I hope that our uh, wages and uh, security system will increase and will be close uh, to uh, ever, uh, average on the European Union, but at least uh, not uh, lower than Est in Estonia. Um, in this moment, we can start yes. to compete for migrants. <laughs> All right, but anyway, if... Uh Anyway, if Latvian uh, uh, welcome, uh, uh, well-being and uh, income level is uh, increasing, uh, you become more uh, attractive uh, uh, for uh, immigrants. Can you say just very few words, how strict is the Latvian migration policy or how much you have thought about uh, migration policy? I'm talking about the migration policy towards uh, third uh, country uh, citizens. Uh, thank you for question. Actually, uh, I think uh, we are open for qual uh, highly qualified workers. It's actually we compete uh, with in, uh, in uh, with other European and uh, not just European but worldwide for the highly highly qualified uh, workers. I think as main, uh, main uh, I think and as well main uh, our interest to have uh, highly qualified workers. Uh, but I think as well uh, it is worldwide the trends. Okay. All right, thank you, and uh, time to move on.